I'm doing some, uh, these are two restaurants that I do right here. I just finished those and I'm working on half of these. And I knew I was going to have one lady bring me some knives today. Well, she brought me 15 knives and one pair of scissors. It's like eight ankle. internationals and then six different kind of these and she wants them back today she's going shopping so I'm going to work on them in a few minutes and get them ready for her. I'm breaking in a brand new 120 grit belt on these restaurant knives put the preliminary primary edge on them you can see the dust that created with a new belt and if you don't think that'll get in your house or your clothes, I got news for you. you know, I ain't Walter Cronkite. Protection. This is uh, the meager dish you can use. That's what I use most of the time. But on some things, I use this baby right here. Free up. This is the best. Okay, that's it. Signing off for a while. Well, the mailman came today. Brought me uh, two boxes of dog stuff. Two boxes of one box of dog food, cat food, and one box of cat litter. And I found this online. This is a pet lounge, they call it. Actually, it's like a hammock. It hooks on the back two seat rests, and it hooks in the two front seat rests, and it hangs in the middle. Like you see them dog and cat right there? They're sitting on the back seat. The hammock comes up in the front that you can't see. Makes like a U. I'll show you in a minute. The lady just picked up the 15 knives. I'm having uh, grilled cheese sandwiches and apples in a few minutes. I got some knives. Uh, this came in from a guy in Illinois who wants me to sharpen them on a wicked edge. And the knives I picked up yesterday, I put them somewhere. I don't know where she's moved them on me, I guess. I got to take them back in about a half hour. Well, let's take a peek in here and see what it is. I know it's a Spotico and something else. I just can't remember what he told me on the telephone. It cost $3 from Illinois. Oh, I see some peanuts. I hate them things. When I was working in the parts business and shipping business, these things drove me crazy. That might stand by a minute. Well, I knew one of them was a Spotico. It's supposed to be a new model Spotico. Gonna be a week getting in that bag. Anyway, this is a, a Mel Pardue uh, Benchmade. He said it had some work done to him and he didn't like it. It's got a wide bevel on it. We know that. It's razor sharp. I don't know what he wants to do to it. God. Something about the tip, I think he told me. But it looks perfect to me. Other than it's not very polished. Oh, I see. It's got a little dimple in the tip. Can you see it? And it gets a little dimple right in the tip where it makes that turn right there. I had to about a quarter of an inch from the tip. I guess that's what he's talking about. Let's see here. Look at that. Look at that. The best of it. Mm-hmm. Too. Maybe 
maybe he's talking about, I don't know, I don't know what he expects. But I can tell you, these, these are nice sharp knives, they're just not high polished. That's the only thing difference I can see about them. Other than the tip, a little bit on the tip of the other one. Man, these are nice knives. Okay, I got some globals coming in now. A lady called me a minute ago. I'm coming by with some globals this afternoon. So I guess Saturday's going to be a knife day. Hmm. Never figure it. I don't know if I told you or not, but I think I did it. I got a lady bring me some global knives to do in a few minutes. Anyway, I got the doggy thing in. You can't very well see it. Hold on a minute. It's like a, you know, ha a, ha a hammock. It hooks on the two back seats armrest. I mean, uh, headrest. You can see it hooked right there, right there. It sits on the seat. And the back of the seat. And they lay right in through here. Do whatever they're going to do. Catches all the hair, junk, dirt. I got to take my buddy Tim out or anybody else. I just undo it. Just fold it up in the garage. Pretty cool taquitos. But talk about taquitos. Cool taquitos. Look at this baby. While I was delivering the other knives, I got a phone call from my guy. I says, I got a Japanese knife. Can you sharpen it? I said, sure, I can sharpen it. What's it look like? It's a carbon knife. It needs cleaning it up a little bit. I think that's a recipient of the Wicked Edge. Fine taquito like this. What do you think? That's right. Let's go to work while we're waiting for the globals. Well, I'm finishing up with the three micron diamond paddles now. Then I'll go to the uh, coarse and fine ceramic. And then the power leather. This baby is really shaping up nice. Unbelievable. My greatest creation. I don't know what the actual degree is. I'm going to put the uh, cube on it in a minute and see. 17 down there. But that don't mean it's 17 up here. You know, blade height is, how much high the blade is above the sharpener will determine all that. But I doubt you'll be able to see it, but it's got a nice, perfect size bevel on it. I couldn't have drawn it on paper, it would have been any nicer. Here, ooh, dangerous. All right, stand by me and I'll get the cube out and see what it is. Just about finished. I forgot the cube, the actual angle was Indians. <laughs> what do you think of that thing, Jack? You like it? Let's take a little ride and see how you like it. That's so I know that's the only place you're gonna move. You ain't going nowhere. You wanna stay. 
You're going to stay right in the damn middle. You ain't going to make another move, are you? And big old Jack, he'll be going from side to side with his head out of the window. Big old Jack, yes you are. <laughs> Can you see him in the mirror there? That's the way he goes with his head out. He likes to go about 60 with his ears flapping. It's funny, I've taken her for a ride after a ride after a ride. That's the only place she stays, right in the middle. She won't come in. Look at, at any window. She jumps in the truck like it's the greatest thing in the world. And that's where she stands, right there in the middle. She don't move one inch. Unless I take a sharp curve or something. Then Jack falls over top of her or something. Look at her. She won't come. Come here. Come here. Come here. She ain't moving. She's locked in place. I didn't see much change until I got right down here. They're putting the stone on the front of it. You see it? It's going to be a stone house. Pretty cool. Just got here with the globals. She's got four globals, a chef's a vegetable cleaver, I call it a big pear and a little pear, and a big uh, Hinko Ice Harden Santuco, and two February Taquitos. And that's going to be the end for the day. I can't believe it. I have to get back to you. I don't know what kind of shape they're in. I guess we better look at the blades. Sometimes they're in bad shape. That one's a nice shape right there. Man, that one looks nice. They've been taking care of. This one's just got one little microchip that I can see under old eyes. This one, you can see them. You can see the reflection. There's a couple little ones right there and one at the front. Let's see what this little one's got. Oh, the little one looks okay. The Santuco, not bad. She's got pretty nice knives. Fabulous, they look good. Okay, I gotta go to work. Back to work, I mean.